Hello guys, Flanker is here. In this video, I will show the walkthrough of two quest lines that will allow you to get two Genesis tuning orbs, which are required to enter the Garden of Genesis expedition. These orbs are not that easy to craft, so don't miss your chance to get two of them for free. The first quest line starts at the western outpost of Shattered Mountain that is called Mountain Home, but you will not be able to start it unless you have completed a quest that is called Pushing Back. I have already done that while I was making a video about getting Lazarus tuning orbs, so if you don't mind, I will use that part in this video. In order to start it, find the NPC Lace and Reese in the western outpost of Shattered Mountain and take the quest that is called Pushing Back. He will ask you to fight the Corrupted in two fortresses nearby. Let's do it. On arrival, make sure to place a camp nearby so that you won't have to run here again in case if something will go wrong. You'll have to kill 15 mobs, search 5 loot containers and place 2 bombs in the spots that are highlighted with blue. It shouldn't be hard, just make sure to not aggro any mobs at the same time. If your gear is not really good or you face any difficulties with this part, consider using boosts to increase the damage against the Corrupted. You can buy or craft powerful or infused Corrupted coatings that provide a 13 or 15% bonus damage against the Corrupted to your active weapon. If you have houses, make sure to place a Corrupted Combat Trophy in each house. Even 3 minor trophies will give you 9% bonus damage in total, which is pretty good. In addition to that, consider using Honing Stones of any grade. Keep in mind that all these bonuses stack together. Once you're finished with the first port, it's time to move to the second one. We'll have to do exactly the same thing, so if you manage to complete the tasks at the first port, then you'll have no problems here. After that, we return back to Lace and Reese to finish the first Alright, so now we can finally start the quest line. In order to do that, find an NPC whose name, to be honest, I don't even know how to pronounce correctly, so I'll just call her Meredith. You will see a quest mark on the map to the north of the outpost, so let's go there. On arrival, you'll get an update on your objectives here. You must kill three different types of mobs and collect the quest items that they drop. Demons and Hellions are pretty easy to kill. Tendrils shouldn't be hard too, just make sure you dodge their ranged attacks. But you should be careful with the ghosts. They are very fast and deal a lot of damage. Apart from basic ranged attacks, they can make a flaming circle around you and if you don't leave it immediately, it's really gonna hurt. Also, make sure you don't stay close to ghosts when they have low HP because they can explode. After killing the mobs, move to the next quest mark to continue reconnaissance. Once you reach it, you'll see another mark on your map, so just keep moving forward and try to avoid the mobs on your way. On arrival, you'll get a new objective to kill 8 of those ghosts and pick up the quest items that they drop. At this point, make sure that you do not aggro more than one mob at the same time, because you might get killed. As soon as you collect 8 quest items, the hard part is over. Now you have to leave the location and travel to Mountain Rise, but do not make a mistake that I made. Do not use Recall to end. Prior to that, you have to reach the new quest mark on your map, and only after your objective will change to Report to Mountain Rise, then you can use Recall to end or just run back to the outpost. When you return back to the Mountain Rise, talk to Nora Lynch, complete the first quest and take the next one. Now we should go to the Fort Lapsus, which is fortunately not far from the outpost. This part is relatively easy. You will have to kill 6 patrollers, destroy 1 corruption barb and loot 4 supply boxes to get the quest items. As long as you're here anyway, you can also find 3 supply stockpiles in this fort. Looting them might help you to increase your watermark. And by the way, if your watermark is not maxed yet, consider watching a video about it on my channel. Once you complete the tasks here, you'll get a new objective. Now you should continue fighting the corrupted in Fort Pullus. This part is very similar to the previous one. You will have to kill 5 patrollers, 2 vicars and loot 4 supply boxes. Keep in mind that you can also find 2 supply stockpiles in this fort. Once you have done everything here, return to Mountain Rise. On arrival, talk to Nora Lynch and finish the second quest. By doing this, we will unlock the next quest arc. Now, find the NPC Girish Herat, I guess, and take the quest. Knowledge is power. We have a new task at Fort Audium, and in order to get there quickly, consider using fast travel to Mountain Home Outpost. This part is easy, all you have to do is to kill the mobs inside the fort in order to obtain a corrupted essence. You might not get it from the first mob, personally I had to kill around 5 of them, but sooner or later you will get it eventually. Now the second part of the quest is literally on the other side of the location, so recalling to in or fast travel will save you a lot of time. Once you get there, keep moving to the mark on the map and you will see a quest item. There will be a couple of mobs around, but they are easy to kill. After you collect the blight sample, it's time to return back 
Talk to NPC, complete the quest, and take the next one. Some good news for you, this is the last quest before you finally obtain a tuning orb. Reach the quest mark on the map and start killing Seed cultivators. I had to kill three of them before I finally got the blight sample. These mobs are easy, but don't forget to keep an eye on your blight resistance level. Move to the next mark on the map and get ready to fight the miniboss, Fey the Last Protector. This mob is not that easy to kill, so I recommend you to make a camp nearby. The good thing is that this is a very popular place to grind watermark and other players might help you. Now, one important thing to keep in mind. If you kill the boss outside of the quest area, where people usually farm him, you will not get a quest item. There is a chest right near to his respawn point, so you must kill him somewhere around there. Look at the right side of your screen and make sure that this quest is highlighted and active. Apart from that, there must be a yellow mark above his name. If you leave the area, the mark will disappear and the quest is not going to be active anymore. As a result, the boss will not drop the quest item. Before attacking the boss, kill all the mobs around. Fey is not that easy to kill, so using Angry Earth coding might be really helpful. Once you finally manage to do that, return to the outpost. Talk to the NPC again, he will give you the next quest and send you to Garden of Genesis Expedition. Check your inventory and you will see a Genesis tuning orb. Congratulations, you got the first one. In order to unlock the second quest line, we must complete a couple of quests in Eden Grove. Talk to Derek Wardell in Valorhold Outpost, take the quest and move to the mark on your map. Your objective here is to defeat 10 Ancient Guardians. I suppose you won't have any problems with that. Don't forget to use heavy attacks while fighting the skeletons with shields to break their block. After you have killed 10 of them, return to the outpost. Talk to NPC again, complete the quest and start the next one. Consider using Blighted Shrine to fast travel closer to the quest mark and save some time. Keep in mind that you don't need to run all the way around. You can climb rocks to the northeast of the quest mark. If you have any difficulties with that, try blocking and jumping at the same time. There is nothing unusual or complicated in this task. All you have to do is to kill 12 triads and collect the weird wood tears that they drop. As long as you are here, you can also kill a level 62 miniboss of the area and loot two ancient chests behind him. Once you have collected 12 items, return back to Derek Wardell. Talk to him and finish the quest. He will not give you the next one before you complete some other tasks, so let's do it! Now talk to Percy Elwood in the same outpost. I repeat, in the same outpost which is Valor Hold. The thing that might be confusing is the fact that there are two NPCs with the same name and both of them are survivalists of Edinburgh. One is located in Valor Hold and that's the one that you need now and another is in the last 10 outpost. Start the quest and move to the mark on the map. On arrival you'll get your first task which is to defeat 10 Angry Earth mobs. I don't think you'll have any problems with this part but if you do consider using Angry Earth coatings to increase your damage against these mobs. When you kill the last mob, you will see a new mark on the map, so let's go there. This objective is even easier than the previous one. You should kill 8 mobs that are level 51, so it will take like 2 minutes to do that. After that, return back to Valor Hold. Talk to Percy, finish the quest and start the next one. He will ask you to bring a strong blight tincture. As long as all trading posts are linked now, you can just go and buy it. Now return back to NPC, complete this short quest and take the next one. On arrival to the quest mark on the map, you will see a high tower. Go inside and keep moving upstairs. You have to kill the boss that is located on the top of this tower, and by the time you reach the top, you will already kill 15 dryads on the way there. The boss is level 54 and actually not that hard to kill. Use heavy attacks to break his shield and pretty much that's about it. After you kill him, the quest is done. There is also a strange device called Charged Animus near the boss respawn location. I interacted with it, but nothing happened. Probably it is used in another quest. In any case, let's return back to Valor Hold. Talk to Percy again and complete the quest. I know this quest line is really long, but don't give up, you almost made it. Take the next task and start moving to the quest mark on your map. You can also use a spirit shrine that is right next to the location that we need. On arrival, guess what? Yes, you have to kill the Dryads again. We have already done it multiple times, so just try to do it as quickly as possible. Apart from them, you also need to kill a green explosive guy and pick up a Blight Sample. Once you manage to kill 12 Dryads, the quest is done and it's time to return. Talk to Percy in Weller Holt and finish the quest. By doing this, you will unlock the next quest from our old friend Derek Wardell. Talk to him and this is the moment when many players get confused and don't know what to do. Derek will send you to Percy Elwood, but as I mentioned earlier, there are two NPCs with the same name. 
So now you need to travel to the last 10 outpost and talk to Percy there. Complete the quest and take the next one that is called Diseased Migration. You will see a quest mark on the map and I hope you have unlocked the spirit shrine near that location because I had to run there. Once you reach the quest mark, you will get your first objective which is to defeat another 8 angry earth mobs. When you kill the last one, a new quest mark will appear on your map, and that's exactly where you should go now. On arrival, you will get the same task in this area. If you have any difficulties with killing level 64 mobs with shields and archers, just turn left and find a cave full of weak level 62 explosive mobs. It is much easier to kill them, but make sure you always keep an eye on your blight resistance level. Once you manage to do that, return back to the last 10 outpost. Talk to Percy one last time, complete the quest and start the next one that will lead you to Garden of Genesis Expedition, which means that you have finally obtained the second Genesis Tuning Orb. Congratulations! If you would like to also get two free Lazarus Tuning Orbs, I recommend you to watch the video about it on my channel. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if so, I would really appreciate your like and subscription for more videos. I am Planker, and I wish you luck in Eternum.